Hello, hello. I am Brittany Rowe. I am energy. I am powerful and I am who I say I am. The purpose of this video is to make with you some vegan tacos. Taco Tuesday. Before I move forward, I just thought about that. It is Tuesday, but don't don't cook just because it's Tuesday. You know, Taco Tuesday, Monday red beans. Friday catfish, you know, when we do things like that in our physical re reality, what happens is we become part of the program, part of the matrix. Do things based upon the way you feel. Today, I just felt like some tacos. I felt like tacos yesterday. And I wasn't thinking about no Tuesday. But anyway, it's your journey. You do what you want to do with your journey. But I'm just saying we've been in the matrix for far too long. It's, it's time to evolve outside of the matrix and do what feels good to you. Maybe one day we'll do that. Whatever feels good, do that. Yeah, because how you feel matters. Anyway, so I want to share with you all my ingredients that I have here. Just this little stuff that I'm going to be putting in here. I got some Daiwa cheese. This is dairy um, and lactose-free, soy-free, gluten-free Daiwa cheese. I got, of course, the topical shells that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm going to be sauteing my meat in avocado oil. We talked about avocado oil already. And keep in mind, if you are using corn oil, peanut oil, canola oil, vegetable oils, those are really, really toxic oils. So you might want up your oil game into something that's healthier, something that your body would identify as natural, like an avocado, you know? Anyway, I got me some taco seasoning mix from Trader Joe's. I never used this before. This is my first time experiment, well, experiencing this with you all. The ingredients is sea salt, cumin, cayenne pepper, cane sugar, paprika, onion, garlic, black pepper, red bell pepper, oregano. Oh, but that oregano though. <laughs> Chili pepper and smoked paprika. So I wanted to try this seasoning, uh, taco seasoning mix. I'm going to chop up some onions, green peppers. I got a purple onion in here, a red pepper, and a green pepper that I'm going to chop up. And of course, cilantro. Cilantro, you're going to see me use that a lot because cilantro is good for heavy metals, mercury, lithium. Um, it's a, a chelation type herb. It'll detox your body. It's really, really good. I bought this salsa also, a thick and chunky organic salsa from Whole Foods. I mean, Trader Joe's is just tomatoes. Well, organic tomatoes. Let's see. Huh. Water, organo, organic jalapeno. How do you get organic jalapeno peppers? Okay. Organic <laughs> tomato paste. Organic onions. Okay. Organic distilled vinegar. Okay. Organic dehydrated onion. Salt. I guess it's all not organic because they didn't say that. Organic cayenne pepper, organic dehydrated garlic. That's funny how they be putting organic on stuff like uh, organic distilled vinegar. Okay, but we're going to go with that. Anyway, I got my head of lettuce because I like to shred my own lettuce, chop it up because those lettuce in the bag, they, they don't last long at all. And and I, I, I don't really like buying too much in the bags, that easy, that quick stuff. I don't be knowing what they're doing with that. And so my choice seasons that I'm going to use to saute my meat is going to be onion powder, black pepper, not onion, not black pepper. I got in a black pepper container, y'all. Onion powder and oregano. This is my oregano. My chili pepper, of course. My pink Himalaya sea salt. I have some thyme, organic thyme. And today I'm going to put a little pinch of kelp granules inside of this here um, sausage that I'm going to be using. Kelp is a, a way you can intake iodine. Iodine is needed for the thyroid, uh, cleaning up your blood, regulate, regulating your hormones, and you move, you know, those people with the big neck, the gouter type neck, you know, that looks like uh, maybe a football player, like, you know, the fat neck, is because their thyroid is not regulated, you know? And so iodine could help with that in people that are or heavy set and can't lose weight, you know, and have hormonal issues. Iodine in sea vegetables help with that to balance you, clean your blood. Every so many seconds of your blood that circulates in your body 
you know, it, it goes to your organs, including, you know, your thyroid gland. And so it looks for iodine to cleanse it. And, you know, so you need it. It's important. I don't want it to sound like a health nut. I'm trying to make tacos. But this is really a good way to incorporate this in your diet. And you don't need this every day. Because this here, kelp se season, this, these granules, have a lot of iodine inside of it and magnesium. So, let's see. Iodine, 970%. <laughs> so that's a lot of iodine so we're just gonna use a pinch we don't want to overstimulate the iodine so i don't use that every day but sometimes anyway this is gonna be the sausage that i use i never used this sausage before first time for everything so we gonna figure this out together and i'm doing this video for people who you know go to the store and you know search for vegan options you know um and, and and just want some choices some ideas you know the people that say it's hard or it's so expensive to be vegan or, or i don't know what to cook this is what i'm doing this for so i'm doing it and i'm acting like the new girl on the block for y'all because this is available for y'all too so this here is a to tofu cake Ooh, tofu curkey tofu tofu turfs look this here is tofu something <laughs> Tofarky, Tofarky, maybe that's what it is. Tofarky, maybe. Anyway, it's plant-based original sausage. It's an Italian flavor, and the ingredients is organic tofu, vital wheat gluten, expel pressed canola oil. Now look at this here. Now this is what I was just really talking about a minute ago. So they have, when you read in the ingredients. When it's saying gluten, we're going to have to accept that glue, the prefix of that word, is sticky and tacky. It's really not beneficial for you, but this is supposedly a healthier choice. You know, like, you know, like, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I just washed my hair and I'm feeling <laughs> the water. You know, like, um, people that go to work out, for example, to go to the gym. They have people that go out to work out at the gym and some of them just want to get their arms right. Some of them just want a nice ass. You know, everything has a level. Some of them are really, you know, bodybuilders and some of them took care of their health and their diet at the same time, you know. And so every to everything there's a level. And going vegan or trying to establish a healthier balance for your life there's gonna be a level and along the way there are people that's at that level that's like that perfected workout person they change the diet and they are eating right and they have positive energy they're not just going to the gym working out and just going home and eat the cupcakes and the brownies and you know thinking all is well so for me i feel like i'm on that tail end of kind of like eating right knowing about and doing the workouts and knowing about the ingredients and things so when i read these things i'm not trying to um kind of like be negative i'm just trying to educate at the same time but with all things there's tricks of transforming the energy because at the end of the day we're in the matrix all is mental and you could transform the energy of anything so when i'm reading these ingredients and i see gluten i'm like okay okay for the level that I am, I try to stay away from gluten because gluten, okay, is in like our bread, you know. It's in a lot of our snacks, you know. You don't want anything sticky or tacky like glue in your digestive system, preventing your minerals from being absorbed, right? Then I look at expeller pressed canola oil. Now, canola oil is one of the oils that I said that you need to up your oil game when I was talking about the um, avocado oil, right? because canola oil is not beneficial but if i look at this here I could, you know they i could, i know that i don't eat this all the time that i could transform the energy mentally of this and i can also transform this energy physically by some of the tricks that i'll be sharing with you just like i talked about the um these um cilantro you know how it clears up you know toxicity in the body just like how i often talk about the um where is it the vinegar the coconut vinegar you know how it'll get rid of those assist, um toxic um toxicity out of your body and the canola oils that's running rancid or 
it'll help with that lactic acid that muriatic acid you know just like how i talk about the coconut oil consuming it sometimes not heating it or anything but just consuming it because it'll give you a healthy fat you know it'll be your anti-inflammatory antiviral antimicrobial antibacterial so basically you transform the energy Every, when you go vegan organic or whatever you do you're gonna come across things in the journey that ain't gonna be up to par but you know how to transform that energy by what you do and what you consume later okay so anyway they have canola oil up in here they have water soy sauce um soy flour and or concentrate sun-dried tomatoes and contains less than two percent of basil granulated garlic sea salt spices sunflowering oil and potassium chloride okay but we can we we fine it has iron in it that's pretty cool um iron calcium potassium made in organ okay okay so what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do with this here is i'm gonna blend this in my blender with my seasoning and i'm gonna chop up my lettuce i don't want this video to be long I'm going to chop up my lettuce and I'm going to season everything. But first, before I begin that, I want to share one other thing with you all that's really beneficial. My mama bought me this. Ah, uh, watermelon. My mama bought me this watermelon yesterday and I want to cut it up and I want to share with you something about a watermelon. Now, all black people, so to speak, know about watermelon and we always get I'm trying to find my knife y'all one second and we always get talked about for black people liking watermelon and fried chicken right but here's the thing don't let those type of things stop you from doing that which will be beneficial for you you know those little stigmas because watermelon is good for the uh, digestive system. It'll clean out your digestive system really good, even when you consume the seed from it. Like just swallowing the seed, you know, is beneficial for digestion. And that lactic acid, it is hydrating. Right now, being that we're in this pandemic, it is the perfect thing to consume. I eat watermelon all the time. That's why everybody, every time somebody goes to the store or whatever, or see the watermelon man on side of the road or whatever they're asking me do i want a watermelon or they'll just bring it that's why my mom bought this i actually have watermelon right here that i keep in a big container in the refrigerator but i'm running low so i'm about to cut up this watermelon and see if my mama did a good job <laughs> picking this watermelon but i shared this with you all for the simple fact that To let you know the benefits of it. Remember that song, um, Drunk in Love with Beyonce? She said, I've been drinking. I've been drinking. Remember that? Watermelon. Well, she's talking about, um, <laughs> she's talking about it in a sexual way. But she's talking about the seed. She's talking about the seed of the watermelon. Well, not actually the seed of the watermelon. She's talking about the seed of the, you know, the man. But I'm talking about the seed of a watermelon. It's beneficial. It's beneficial. Drunk in love. <laughs> so I have a relationship. What I'm saying here is I have a relationship with watermelon. It's hydrating. I swallow the seeds. It cleans my digestive system. And I love it. And what I do with it, what I do with it is put some pink Himalaya sea salt on it and eat it just like that. Mm. 
But with mine, y'all, so I can do that because it's mine. And I'm going to put it back on for the so I cut that out of the And that's another thing, too. Like when you have things, like if you have boys or children, let me wash my hand. You have children who see watermelon or see certain fruit up in the refrigerator all the time. Like my oldest son, especially if you have boys too. Like my oldest son, he told me, he said, I only want watermelon, mom, because you always have it available. Well, you know how to master that? Do you know a trick on that? You use psychology for them. You use psychology and you tell them, you know what? Don't touch my watermelon. Don't nobody eat none of my watermelon without asking me. <laughs> Cause that's just like, this is just like even having with a relationship with a man. If you in a refrigerator, always available, looking sweet and delicious, you know, <laughs> he go open up the refrigerator and be like, oh, I don't want none of that today. You know? Can't be readily available. So I told him, don't, don't, don't touch my watermelon without asking me first. Leave my watermelon alone. It's off limits. And so well, only one or two things that's going to happen with me telling them, both of them, really, don't touch my watermelon is for me. One is that they're going to sneak and touch the watermelon when I'm not around, which really I want them to do that anyway. I want them to eat it. <laughs> or two, they're going to come and ask me. And if they come and ask me, I can make it seem less available. You see, it's psychology. Like, I don't know. That's just, that's the last of it. I don't know. Just take a little piece. You just had some or something like that. Or, or go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you can have it. Go ahead. You know, whatever your answer is, you won. Because you told them it was off limits. And with boys, men, you know, you know how I go. When it's unattainable, they won't be more. Like, ooh, let me give me some of that water. Man. Ooh, yeah. I can't have it. <laughs> so let me see. What kind of watermelon my mama got for me? Let me see if she did good. Let's see. Yes, sir. She did good. And you know what the best part is to me? Oh, the best part of the watermelon is that metal. It be the sweetest part. Let me see. Mmm, 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 mmm. She did good. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to cut up my watermelon, so I'm saying, and cut up all of these vegetables, and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is, after it was blended. Well done to me. Okay, so now the meat is done. Now I'm about to put together a taco. And we're going to see. This is my taco. 
That's for my meat. Meat at the bottom. It looks good. It smells good. I need some cheese. I'm going to try with cheese. cheese on top of my meat. Come on. Some lettuce. Some of this chunky sauce. cilantro of course on top and you see these right here these are hot and sweet jalapenos these things are so delicious I'll be eating these things without nothing sometimes <laughs> they are so delicious so I'm about to put that on. Put a couple of them on my own taco. And we're going to see how this tastes. Okay, y'all, this is my simple meal. I got me some watermelon, of course, with some sea salt on it. And I got me a vegan taco. I'm about to bring this camera out so you can see how this simple meal tastes. Okay. So now, that was really easy, really simple. Like I said, we transform the energy of things by watering them down with watermelon, by our vinegar, by our coconut oil, by our mental, by prayer, transforming energy. So we can say a prayer and we can call in the energies of whatever it is that you believe in. Because all is mental. We can call on Shadrach, Meshach, Benigo, Jesus. Somebody go get Jesus because Jesus is always missing. Ever since he was a little boy, he was about his father's business. He always say, I am from above, he is from below. Jesus ascended. <laughs> And so I go to my fair friend called Jesus, called Buddha, get Buddha from underneath the tree. Go and get Lazarus. Tell Lazarus stop playing like he did and come forth. <laughs> we already know death is, a, is an illusion. Call your grandma, your deceased grandma, your ancestors, whatever you call. The angles of light, the angels, thought by I call on whatever it is that you believe in. Krishna. It don't matter. Just call on it. Because it's all energy. We're two or three are doing together. God will be a God in the midst. We in this matrix made it seem as though it's all separation. But separation is an illusion, baby. Call on your guys or whatever in. Bless your food. And allow that energy to work for you. To transform that energy from soybean. <laughs> from, from uh, what else they had up here? Canola oil. You know, from the gluten or whatever we read on them in, in the ingredients, transform it, kill it, bless it. It is done, complete. Bam! This is love right here. This is minerals right here. This is alchemy going on right here, and so shall it be. And taste that thing, and let's see. <sighs> oh, it's spicy. It's delicious. It's delicious. That seasoning mix has a cake to it though.
But it's good. I know you children gonna love it. I know you children gonna love this. Your whole family gonna love this. I love this. I wouldn't be lying to y'all. Y'all be lying. Cause you know some of that vegan food out there, some of that stuff be tasting like cardboard jelly. <laughs> Well, this is really good. And it was easy. And it wasn't expensive. At all. I don't know what people be talking about when they say that yeah, it's so expensive to be, eat healthy. No, it's not. No, it's not. Mm -mm. It's not expensive. Because you're getting rid of all that meat. That meat is expensive. That's what's expensive. Animals. Mm. This is really good. And it is good for me. And it is blessed. And I love it. Mm, mm, mm. This is going to be long. This is going to be long. Well, that cheese is really good too. That lie with cheese, I taste it now. I'm gonna have to eat now because they ain't gonna let this sit up in the kitchen. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. This was a good one. This was good. So. That's it. That's the end of this video. Woo! That was good. Uh oh. Drop my phone. Y'all yeah, must have wanted some of my watermelon, huh? I'm gonna drop my phone. Somebody out there wants some of my watermelon. Wait. Yeah. I'm gonna let you see. Yeah. Say it for peace. Is it that watermelon? Mm. <laughs> sweet too. Okay. This was from my heart to yours once again. Remember you are energy. You are powerful. You are who you say you are. And you could do anything. Anything. Transform your energy, baby. Be blessed. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh Lord. <laughs> Let me capture that. <laughs> it's good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, damn. It is spicy. It's spicy though, huh? Mm -hmm. That sauce. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it is good. I know. Oh, and it was easy. It only took a couple of minutes to make. Jamar gonna tell that up there. So I was like, let me hurry up and eat mine before I tell him about it. <laughs> was made out of tofu. Really? Yeah. That's crazy, huh? What in the hell is all of that about? <laughs> you have to go flip backwards just to get it in your mouth your mouth retarded? <laughs> you got one of the handicap mouth? So you do it to make the least mess as possible. Right, right, right. Oh, guys. I'm gonna have to try that one day. <laughs> I'm about to do one more. And then that's it.